सीन ऑफ अगस्त टू थाउजेंड एट डियर डायरी इट्स माई बर्थडे टूडे ना आई एम सेवन ईयर्स ओल्ड माई अंकल गिफ्ट टू टू मी आई एम सो हैप्पी टूडे आई लव वे मै लॉर्ड आई कैन नाउ राइट ऑल माई ड्रीम्स ऑफ बिकमिंग एन एस्ट्रोनॉट टचिंग द मून और ए सिंगर और ए प्रिंसेस लाइक माई बाबी शी इज माई फेवरेट एंड ऑल्सो माई रोल मॉडल लाइफ इज सो ग्रेट फर्स्ट ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी थर्टीन डियर डायरी आई एम सैड एंड एंग्री टूडे माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड फॉर एवर बिट्रेड मी She took Neha's side even though it was her fault. She has become her best friend now. Neha is so cruel. She even stole my notebook. No one ever listens to me, not even mom. But uncle did, probably. Twentieth of October, twenty fifteen. Dear diary, I saw Hana and Virat smoking today with the other classmates. They invited me there and asked me to try, but I didn't. They took out some powder, smelled it. And told me how great it made them feel, how fast it made them heal. I remember it pulling me closer, but something in me told me to run away as fast as I can. I think I need to change my friend circle. Mom says good grades can come only if I make good friends who talks only about studies and no enjoyment. But I think I am the bad child. Even Uncle punished me today for this. Thirtieth of October, twenty sixteen. Dear diary, I had broke up with me today. I loved him a lot. I imagined my whole life with him, but he cheated on me and broke up. I feel like my whole life has shattered. I think I am the wrong one who didn't say sorry when I last fought with him, or leaving me alone late night on the streets while he went away to party and forgot to drop me home. I think it was my mistake that I complained that he kissed me forcibly in that empty room. After all, he loved me, and probably I too. No, no, I too did. Sixth of December, twenty seventeen. Dear diary, I fought with mom and dad today for a long time. I am tired of seeing them fight, of the voices knocking my ears, of the silence in my room killing me behind my closed door, of their anger spitted on me. I don't feel like sharing things with them anymore. I thought they were my friends, but no one really understands me. I'm tired. Twenty sixth of January, twenty nineteen. Dear diary, I feel jealous of the people online living their life on Instagram. It feels like their smiles, their beauty, and their brains are not in my program. Each moment I scroll, I see their smiles plastered on my head. While I feel trapped in the borders, I can't even see. Each like I tap on my phone feels like the heartbreak of Juliet, but not with Romeo, but herself. With the pimples of my face not matching the standards of the list, with the filters hiding the dark circles, I'm too scared to carry. With my vagina bleeding, not making me complete goals, I blend. Unlike, unlike her, a superstar influencer on Instagram. I feel scared to be me in this world without faces but pageants and filters. Who's crowned? Shout out loud that I am not beautiful. Twenty third of February, twenty twenty. Dear diary, it's been three days since I got my twelve grades and J scores. I need a good bag. Sharma J's daughter grades not C S in any I T. The auntie that came at home to know my grades left me on scene after seeing my scores. To spreading it all, everyone now knows that I, that I am a failure. I don't really know how I feel, but with the silence roaring, I don't know how long will I last to see the next sunrise. I looked at my wrist and remember the years I spent alone, being lonely. Cuts. Bruises, marks, giving me testimony of the traumas, the endless nights I spent preparing for the biggest competitive exam, whose crown meant winning the apple of the eye of my parents, the society, and probably me, whose crown meant not being a failure. Not a single tear of mine dropped on the ground. The demons of my sleep paralysis now even couldn't make me cry. Leave me alone in my room in the dark. This is where failures belong. Wait, wait. Do they even deserve to live? The distance from my terrace looks high enough to kill. No, no, no. I'm not depressed. It's a thing that happens to elders, not younger people like me. No, no. I'm not depressed. Thirtieth of March, twenty twenty one. Dear diary. It's been a month since I got diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety. I shuffled through the pages of my diary of the years I spent in laughter. Maturity has finally hit my brain, but I don't like who I have become. The numb soul without heart. 
who feels nothing but pain. I don't know how many demons I had lived with, but no one, no one should really know right behind this. I am fine. No mind when asked, how am I? And the uncle who I thought to be close got arrested today for molesting 15 years of my childhood. But mama, don't waste your tears. It wasn't my fault.